Morning folks. Beautiful sunny Thursday morning, bit chilly. Five degrees. Lovely day to be out though. Storm Fiona has just thundered through, knocked a few trees over. But uh, the uh, the wind's dropped now and uh, felt it was uh, safe enough to come on out, so here I am. So um, you might have caught my uh, video uh, where I look at uh, modifying the uh, the Skada Rider QZ headphones, which personally I felt were a little bit lacking, lacking what I call a bit of oomph really. Uh, as I, I think I mentioned on that video, I'm not a I'm not a hi-fi buff, although I do enjoy uh, I do enjoy good sound. And uh, they've been frustrating me, I think, now for about the last six weeks or so, sounding, in my opinion, a little bit tinny, really. Um, so I wanted to upgrade them, so I, uh, as usual, I sort of scoured the internet, read a few articles, did a bit of research, and uh, if you've seen the video, you'll see how uh, I managed to um, cannibalise a pair of uh, budget Sony um, headphones remove the earpieces and uh, eventually get them soldered into uh, place and positioned in the helmet and a little bit of trial and error really so if you've seen the video uh, do take a look at that if you haven't because uh, there's no point in slumming it you know we spend a lot of time on these bikes and with the better weather coming hopefully in the spring and the summer you want to listen to some decent music you've paid for it so you might as well listen to the whole thing the bass and the treble and the mid-range and everything else that you've paid for rather than just the, uh, the sort of high notes as it were so the modification uh, which I'm now listening to uh, the veritable Johnny Cash uh, made a significant difference to the quality of my listening uh, I have to say and uh, I would give a recommendation if you're uh, reasonably handy with a, a soldering iron you've got a little test set as well just to uh, check the circuits in case you, your soldering isn't uh, isn't so hot like uh, like mine then uh, well worth doing actually so yeah so I just wanted just to reflect just for a couple of minutes on that uh, on that modification uh, life is lived forwards but understood backwards isn't it so but uh, that modification just you know threw up a few little curve balls the fact that were different kinds of wires in the I think the right hand uh, headphone unit but I managed to work my way through that the next problem then was the fact the headphones were too big and were sort of crushing my ears so I removed the uh, the bits of plastic on the outside that made them smaller but no real no less thin really uh, and if you've uh, seen the um, the video what I originally did was I uh, attached the uh, the Sony headphones uh, by velcro to the inserts the foam inserts, the foam ear inserts in the Shoei Near Tech helmet and of course that was pushing the um, pushing the pressure out again so it was okay, I could tolerate that for about an hour but again the pressure on my ears wasn't good so decided to uh, to get rid of those uh, and stuck a bit of velcro actually on the on the helmet shell the, the sort of polystyrene bit that fixes onto the helmet shell that's uh, sort of a, an ear shaped recess in the shot in the sonic in the uh, Shoei Near Tech I guess your helmet most modern helmets I think have those recesses so yeah just stuck a bit of a spare velcro I found in the garage onto the inside of the helmet uh, and then attached the uh, headphones directly to that and the the benefit immediately then was no pressure on my ears now at all uh, feels a lot cooler uh, but my ears are sufficiently close to the headphones to be able to hear the music and the second benefit is the fact that because now the uh, the earpiece is stuck onto a solid base i.e. the shell of the helmet as opposed to a bit of a bit of foam then I'm getting a much better bass response and those of you who are into hi-fi you know if you've um, you sort of read any of the hi-fi magazines the, uh, they, there's a big thing now isn't there about having um, spiked speaker stands that speaker stand doesn't sit on your carpet um, the spikes go through into the the wooden or the concrete floor uh, and because it's solid it just gives the base uh, a lot more uh, of a an oomph really a bit of a thump to it so uh, again I can there's an appreciable difference in actually doing that so uh, so those two things have dramatically uh, improved it and I think now I can uh, confidently um, declare this project as being finished and, and, and having worked so it took a little bit of effort uh, and I guess depending upon what your 
uh, headset is. I mean, mine's a Scala rider, but you might have a Senna or something like that. The principles are the same. You might have a different helmet. Again, the principles are the same. Uh, but you've got to just a little bit of um, trial and error. I think it's what the Americans call a MacGyver fix. So, uh, so give it a go. Uh, and any comments, uh, just please uh, stick them down. But uh, for me, the uh, the Sony, sorry, the the Scala rider QZ actually worked very well. I have to say. Um, I think you've got to recognise that the the headset works fine. I think, you know, in, in, in my opinion, it, it does what I want it to do. So, yeah, so uh, recommended, uh, take a look at both videos, so I'll just listen to what I've said on this, just in terms of my uh, reflections afterwards, uh, but also uh, just have a, have a look at that other one, I know it's a long video, but I've tried to give you all the detail there, the, uh, the sort of, um, the successes as well as the failures, and hopefully that can save you a bit of grief uh, if and when you, you have a go at doing that, so, and you probably want to set a good half a day aside and make sure you've got, you've got uh, command of your kitchen table, uh, soldering iron, um, uh, a simple electrical test, text, uh, test box, uh, probably cost you a tenner or something like that. A bit of solder, uh, some finest screwdrivers and a pair of uh, wire cutters as well. And uh, a bit of Velcro as well that you can buy in most uh, DIY places these days. And, uh, and I think that will work. OK, so I so hope that's, hope that's um, been of use to you. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you're interested in buying either the Sony or the, um, the Scala Rider, uh, I'll put the links below, so uh, feel free to use that and uh, make me a smidgen of commission. Okie dokie, so uh, over to you.